Yo, what's good YouTube? My name is Heat Ledger and I just nominated myself for Donkey today because my goofy Korean chopstick having ass customized my Jordan 6's last night with a little bit of tomato sauce. I mean shit, I've been doing pretty good on Tinder lately. You know, I just copped a new crib. I got a promotion at work the other month. I've been hitting the gym, you know, trying to look big, showering reasonably often. And typically, you know, white girls, they look at me, they look me up and down and they're thinking, Jackie Chan was dope in Rush Hour 2, you know? Maybe I'm thinking of tasting a little bit of that Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift tonight. And then they see the shoes, and then they see the cheesy bacon stained Jordan. That's a deal breaker, man. I'm telling you guys right now, single men, if you're out there grinding, I don't know why I did this, that was, no. If you're out there grinding, you're trying to get a girl, and you're looking fresh, your life's together, you know, you got a full-time job, you visit Mom Dukes every once in a while, take her out to dinner, you have a reasonably nice vehicle. It's well-maintained, you change the oil every couple months, you know, you eat well, you're healthy, and you're wondering, why can't I get a girl? Well, take a look at your shoes. Girls will start here, and they'll make their way down, and if they see some busted-ass schedules on your feet, I don't care if you're wearing a million-dollar suit, you're not getting a taste of that. It's an absolute deal breaker. So for me, for someone that's really into sneakers, this hurts. I understand, wear your shoes, beat them up, have fun with it, but these look like shit and I need to do something about it. So going back to the story, last night, we ordered pizza at work, I was having a great time, I felt swagged out, I was wearing a brand new crew neck, I had my Jordan 6's on feet, I'm giving my friends high fives and I'm indulging in some pizza. It's a Friday night and I'm just And then a little pineapple found its way off the pizza. Then that bitch ran up on my shoes. Give me a white shoelaces. Now I have a problem. So what I need to do is correct this problem and how I'm gonna do it is using my trusted sneaker cleaner, Reshuvenator. I've used Reshuvenator to clean stains and scuffs off actual shoes, but never on the laces. So we're gonna give it a shot. I wanna see how well this works. Let's jump into it. All right, so I cleaned the kicks, I cleaned the laces. Let's lace them up and see how they turned out. All right, man, we are laced up, and you guys be the judge. Same shoe, there's the front. It's pretty damn good to me. No pizza stains, and just to show, I didn't flip these laces around or anything, but that's it. All right, you guys, so that's it. It took a total of like three minutes to do. If you do get pizza stains, tomato sauce stains, <laughs> you know, you get any of those stains on there, you know you can get them out. Again, I use Reshuvenator, but you can really use any sneaker solution if you want to check out Reshuvenator. Link down below. Definitely hit that subscribe. Definitely hit that thumbs up. More videos on the way all this week. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace. Running.